what are you teaching the agents to, to basically make themselves different from the marketplace to stand out like you were talking about? So last fall, so I have, I have 247 business coaches in like seven countries. So, so when I say, Hey, let's do some research, let's, let's segment our own clients. Like the, the, the CEOs of companies, the directors, marketing, you know, like all those people push them aside. Let's just do people that are doing transactions, team urges, teams, individual agents, individual agents with like five assistants, like all these different models that we know are available. We ask them, I don't know, 40 questions, you know, Hey, what works? What doesn't value rank, uh, listings from past clients versus Google versus arbitrage versus agent, agent referral. Just, you know, just, you guys can imagine just on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. So the opening of my roadmap tour is basically the five most important distinctions that we learned from that. Right. What were the five most important things? And I've already kind of covered one, which was the people that are killing it right now can answer the question. What are your goals? What are you focusing on? And we all know it's one, two, three, too many. Yeah. And the second you go beyond three goals, diluted focus creates diluted results. Right. Kira, you were kind of saying the same thing, yeah. right? We have to focus. Um, and then you go into, it, it's not about, this is a year fellas where it's not about doing more. It's not necessarily about adding more to do more transactions. It's actually doing less. It's the, the word that was coined in 1938 by my mentor's mentor. So my mentor was a guy named Mike Vance. I'm sure you guys have heard my dad talk about him. One of his mentors was Buckminster Fuller. Buckminster Fuller created the geodesic dome that we know in Orlando, right? In Disney and, and, a, and a thousand other discoveries that this guy made. Back in 1938, he coined the phrase ephemeralization. Mm -hmm. And what he said is in 1938, he said, with the advancements in technology, we will eventually get to a place where more and more is done with less and less. And eventually everything is done with nothing. Mm -hmm. So the argument that I'm making for people is what can you no longer afford to do? What do you need to stop doing? What, what are the old habits and the old plays that you've run for three years, five years, seven years, a decade that no longer apply in this marketplace? So I always look first to say, what can we remove to simplify? Yeah. Then it's really about adding, you know, John, maybe one lead pillar. And we, we all know there's, you know, 35 different ways to attract sellers. Which one has the biggest TAM? Which one are you the most comfortable with? Which one do you really understand the consumer, what their pain points are, how they operate, what they're thinking, right? And then can you market effectively to that group, whether it's over the phone, knocking on their door, sending them a video, whatever it may be, there's a million different ways for us to communicate our message. Um, it's stuff like that. And, you know, the first three we did in LA, Orange County, San Diego, in every case I bring in at every event, two or three of my top clients. So in LA, I had, you know, John Grauman, you know, $750 million you know, in volume last year. And then I had, you know, uh, David and James from Million Dollar Listing, them talking about their strategy around the listing appointment and how they do it and what they do. Lydia Gable from the Valley talking about, hey, I do these seller seminars. And then she broke down the seller seminar and she's like, I get, you know, 15 to 20 sellers in my community twice a month. Yeah. Hand raisers. We're thinking about selling our home. So, so I basically will demonstrate, Hey, here's three different people getting up and sharing peers, guys, like you guys saying, Hey, come speak, you know, at my event in New Jersey, right. As an example, then we break for lunch. Then we come back and David Childers, we all know from keeping current matters. And, and if you guys know, keeping current matters, I have been a fan from Steve Harney from long Island through today with, you know, Bill running the company and David as a president. But what I forced them to do at this event was you guys always talk national, go local. Right. So this event, they go, Hey, here's what's happening nationally. Mm. Here's how it relates to Northern New Jersey. Here's how it relates to Hoboken. Here's what's going on in New York city. And, and you want to watch, you know, 500,000 people sit there with their phone going, click, 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 just taking photos. Yeah. Right. Then we spend the entire afternoon on five listing attraction campaigns. We know work one email that when they send it in the room, they will get listing opportunities. What are the best direct mail pieces today? What are the best phone scripts today for past clients and others? So it's, it's an action packed, it's an action packed day. Sorry to like, I'm, that, that felt like an infomercial. I apologize. No. <laughs> it's, a cool event. it's a cool event. I like it. 